Hi everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins. I hope you're going to enjoy our channel today and if you would subscribe, that would be wonderful. And hit the like button and the notification bell. And always remember to be kind to each other and have a great day. Hey everyone, it's Crafty Mom. I have this wonderful wreath that I have actually got this at um, Goodwill and I pulled all the flowers off of it and then I got this cute little lace that I got from Dollar Tree. Look how pretty the green is. I got the same color green curtains in my house and I love this color green. So I got the pink flowers from Goodwill. I got these little pineapples from, not Goodwill, I'm sorry. I got the pineapples and the pink flowers from Dollar Tree. So all I'm going to do is, as you can see, my pink beautiful roses. Aren't they gorgeous? They are. The pink and greens look so pretty together. And then I got these little yellow ones. It's got some yellow and green and that same pink color. So I'm making a cute little summertime wreath. Look at these flip-flops. I even bought a pair for myself. Yeah, they're cute. So I'm just, I'm not going to cut these, and you don't want to cut them, because if you cut them, they will fall apart. So I'm using a staple gun. I'm just pulling it apart, and I'm going to staple all of these green lays all over this cute little straw wreath. It, it's going to take a while, and you have to just be patient. But as you can see, you can pull the string, pull it apart, you'll see the string. And you're just gonna press the staple in there. And you're gonna do this all the way around, and you're not gonna cut it, so you're like, you're almost gonna like double it. So see how I'm doubling it right here? And you're just going to staple it all the way. I mean, you can put it, I, I wasn't gonna glue it because I just didn't think it would do as well, but I think the staples work well, really well. I mean, there's other things that you can use. I think there's these little wire clips that you can buy, and they're usually in a floral department, but I couldn't find them, so I'm using the stapler. And it worked out perfect, to be honest with you. And like I said, I'm just going around. I think I probably used maybe 10 of these, 10 or 11, because I wanted it really, really full. And like I said, it takes a while. You're just gonna keep stapling it. It actually sits on my front door now. I wanna make another one. I did get some pink lays and I'm gonna try to make another one. Might not get time this summer, but maybe for next summer. This one is so full. was my daughter coming in with the door squeaking. <laughs> there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this color. I'm sorry I'm spinning it around so fast you can't see it. But there it is. And then you can see if there's a little piece hanging, you're just going to just tack it back in with a staple. I am gluing the shoes on. I picked a spot. I pulled it away from all the little flowers. And I'm gluing them. I put a lot of glue, by the way, because I don't want it to fall off. As you can see, more glue. And I would go ahead and put a lot of glue because it'll hold it better, especially with the straw and the rubber. And you just want to hold it there for a while so that it actually sticks. And then I'm just going to take these pink roses and I am going to cut them off. Not cut them, I'm pulling them off actually. 
but I do cut the little see the little green stems right there I do cut them off with oh well maybe yeah I did cut them off and this is the yellow and the pink also so I'm going around and I'm just sticking in different colors so it won't be so bright I'm using the wire cutters to get the little green piece off and just using my glue gun and just going around to make it really pretty I absolutely love the way this turned out I do want to make another one I don't think I'll get a chance this summer because we are moving so if you don't see me for a couple weeks it's only because we're moving and we having to box up a house full of kids and lots of stuff and you know all the crafts that we have so bear with me just know that I'll be back I'm gonna try to post something we're actually gonna do a moving video so stay tuned for that I have another channel called Joni and Angelina it's my daughter so we're gonna actually vlog and hopefully you get to move with us right now my house is a disaster it's boxes everywhere it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and we still have a lot to go six kids big house basement yeah garage shed we've gotten rid of a lot of stuff but we still have a lot of stuff especially with kids because they don't want to get rid of their toys and I don't want to get rid of their childhood but they do have to pick and choose Isn't this gorgeous? I probably will give this away before I move because I probably don't want to take it with me. It's one less thing I have to pack up. So I have a special friend that I'm going to give it to. I can't wait to see her face because, it, like I said, it hangs on the inside of my door for now. And I can't wait to give it to her. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. It is so cool. got these pink pineapples and I'm going to stick a couple of those just over by the little flip-flops I tell you, I try to figure out what's a good way to film all of this. I've tried every way. I've bought every kind of equipment. And I still don't have the perfect way yet. And when I move, one of my biggest things is to have a craft room. Because my crafts are in the garage. They're in the kitchen. They're in the basement. So I'm very excited to have a craft room. So I'm hoping my channel will get better and people will subscribe and share it with their friends oh my god I love you guys so much you guys make my day for sure I'm just making a little loop so I can hand, hand I mean <laughs> so I can hang it sorry sit here like it's what 11 o'clock at night while I'm doing this voiceover there's my daughter crawling behind me on the floor So I'm just making a little loop out of some ribbon. Um, you can do however you want to, to hang it. I glued it with my glue gun. Look, there it is. Don't you love it? Oh my God, it is so pretty. It is so summery. You know summer's coming. It is so pretty. There's the flip-flops. They came from Dollar Tree too. Everything came from Dollar Tree except the wreath, which I got at Goodwill. Okay, on to DIY number two. This is just one of their little wooden round little circles. I went outside and I spray painted it because I really prefer spray painting. It's 
especially since my kitchen's so small and it's hard to really paint, although I painted a lot. Got this cute little love metal, little, I guess it'd be like the decorations that you could put on anything. So I am gluing it on this beautiful wooden circle that I painted with spray paint. And I'm using my glove because I always burn, I burnt myself to be honest with you on that last video. I burned it really bad. It was so bad. I had to put a band-aid on it. it, it honestly, it went for weeks because I hurt it so bad. So I'm trying to be more careful with the glue gun because it will get you. So all of this, the ribbon, the burlap blue ribbon came from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year. It was in my stash. And this ribbon came from, it's like a string ribbon. It came from Dollar Tree. And I'm just pinching the little bow in the middle, tying it real tight, making a cute little bow. See how easy that is? Just pinch it in the middle, tie it with a piece of string. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And there it is. And then I'm going to put a dab of glue and put it on the board. This is just a simple craft. I, this probably could be a five minute craft, actually, especially if you spray paint it. stick some flowers right there on top of the bow now I'm gonna glue the little love sign it's that little metal piece it's made out of metal simple cute it looks really good hanging on my bathroom door if you wanted to you could rough up the edges of the bow and make it a little bit raggedy if you like that type look sort of a shabby chic and there it is on my bathroom door how pretty this is Next DIY, they have these boards at Dollar Tree, and I got some wall decorations that they just pull off, and you could just stick it right on the board. I like these boards, you don't have to paint them. Uh, this has got the wood grain look, and I'm just taking the sticker and just putting it on the board. This easily, anybody could do this. Now it's going to be hard to fit that Jesus in, so I had to cut off a little bit of like the edges like to fit it on there. So I had to cut that little bit of that off of the edge so it would fit. Just 
Just making the J a little bit shorter. So really all you're doing is taking this wall decoration, pulling it off the sheet and placing it on your board and just rubbing it down real good so that it doesn't come apart. Wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. This is a good reminder for our kids to put in the bathroom. And then I got these cute little stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to pick the one that says grateful, thankful, blessed. I added some um, glue. They are sticky, but I didn't want it to come off so I added some glue. There it is. Sorry, I'm like so quick with that. There it is. Grateful, thankful, blessed. There we have my little love sign. Hey guys, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and share with your family and friends. Hit the like button and the notification bell so you'll know when I actually put out another video. I really enjoy doing these for you. It's my privilege to actually make these so that you can enjoy them and make them yourself because if I can do it, you can do it. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.